cardio. Okay. Big Mama's house. Big Mama's house. Welcome to Big Mama's house. Big Mama's house. Yeah. Big Mama's house. Welcome to Big Mama's house. Big Mama's house. Welcome back to Big Mama's house, y'all. This is a Papa and a Liz edition, Lizard edition. Hi. It's a about uh, WWE SummerSlam, and uh, we're gonna do a little bit about uh, about football, about the Jets, and about baseball. Again, this is gonna be an unedited, uncut edition. All my episodes are, are unedited, uncut. Uh, so, how you doing today, Lizard? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty chill. Are you vibing? Not really. Well, it is Friday night. It is our, uh, it's going to be called like Mama's After Dark Podcast. That's what we're going to do here. So this is going to be, like I said, unedited. Uh, we're not going to edit it or anything. So whatever comes out of my mouth, whatever comes out of Lizard's mouth is what you're going to hear. It's just how it is. That's how it is. That's the way it is. So we're, we're actually going to talk about SummerSlam first. This is Friday night. So SummerSlam will be tomorrow night. Uh, we'll actually get this on uh, on air uh, before before SummerSlam comes out, so you can see if our predictions are correct. Yeah. So, Liz Lizard, what do you think about SummerSlam? Let me give you give me your uh, your feelings on SummerSlam. Honestly, other th I think it's one of the only actual uh, pay per views that actually matter, other than WrestleMania and the uh, Royal Rumble. Survivor Series. Even then, like the, the major three is uh, from. The most important is WrestleMania, uh, and then I have to put the Royal Rumble because then it sets up for WrestleMania and then SummerSlam. And the reason why I say that is that there are other pay-per-views, uh, definitely, but none of them have any actual impact usually on the actual storylines, belts, whatever, except for those big three. Yeah, there's always surprises at like the WrestleManias, the Rumbles, the SummerSlams. And we can't forget what comes up in November, like I think it's the Saturday after Thanksgiving this year, is Survivor Series. But that's the future. Yeah. Right now is the present. We're going to be talking about SummerSlam 2023. And what week is that again? What's that? Uh, what date is SummerSlam again? Uh, tomorrow night, August 5th. Okay, I thought so. I I wasn't sure if this actually be yes tomorrow or next weekend. It is tomorrow. Okay. Um, that's why we're doing this now. You know, it's like last minute because I forgot about it <laughs> until I started watching SmackDown tonight. And I'm like, oh crap, I got to do. Compare with dates. Uh, so I was at their check. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the uh, predictions for SummerSlam first, and then we'll get into the baseball and football stuff. Yeah. So we're going to do the first match is going to be, I'm not sure if it's going to be the order that they're in. But it's the first match that we're going to talk about. Yeah. Is a WWE Women's Championship match. Uh, it's got to be, it's Asuka, who's a champion, versus Bianca Belair and Charlotte Flair. Who do you want to win? And then we'll say, who do you think will win? Asuka, 100%. You want Asuka to win? I want Asuka to win. Why? Honestly, the moment she came to WWE, I loved like her style, uh, uniqueness of her character. Just how peppy and like hyper she is about her the uniqueness and the you know, creativity of her costumes, the Empress of of tomorrow. Of tomorrow, yeah. And honestly, uh, I don't really like Bianca Belair or Charlotte. I I like Charlotte because when she first came in, is because I I was a Ric Flair fan. I kind of like it then, you know. I feel like it's very uh, overdone with her, I think. Fifth, she'll be a 15-time world champion if she wins tomorrow night. Yeah. Honestly, she reminds me of like a John Cena type where they just keep bringing her in to, you know, win. To be that. Well, yeah, just to be the... Well, John Cena is more of a legend now. Charlotte Flair isn't at that point yet. John Cena is like... But she's super... She's close to him. John Cena is up there with The Rock. Yeah. Okay, he's up there with the Austins. But considering the women's division, she is definitely up there as, you know, one of the top contenders legends of True. She she's a she's a soon to be legend. True, because you have you know, you only have a few legends as far as the women go. Yeah. You have, you know, Trish Stratus, you have Lita. Uh the other ones the other ones passed away. You're like Mula, Mae Young, they all passed away. Yeah. 
but you don't really have like any women legends now except for Trish and Lita. Yeah. But you said you want Oscar to win. Now, who do you think will win? I don't think it's going to be Bianca Belair. I think it's definitely going to be a, between Charlotte and Oscar. And well, I hope that it's going to be Asuka. Now that Vince McMahon is, you know, back in on creativity, I think it's going to be Charlotte. Spoiler alert, Mc Vince is not back with create creativity, and he got arrested the other day. Oh, so he's not. So he, I don't believe he has any hands. This is all Triple H. I don't believe he has anything to do with this. Then I think it's going to keep Asuka. I, I really do. I think. So you want Asuka and you predict Asuka. When Triple H started over before... That's the big push for Oscar to actually, you know, get these matches. Mm -hmm. He's really pushing for like, yeah, like other other wrestlers to actually get storylines other than the same people. Like, you know, I said like Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair was like a John Becky Cena. Lynch. Yeah, the, the same people over and over. And you know, in Raw they have Rhea Ripley. Yeah. You know, being the Raw the Raw's woman champion, but she's not on tomorrow night. All right, she might be on, you know, with the Judgment Day, yeah. but she's not defending her title tomorrow night. Yeah. That's another Triple H. She's another Triple H person. Yeah. You know how Paul Heyman has Paul Heyman guys? Mm -hmm. Well, Triple H has, has Triple H guys. Rhea Ripley's one of those Triple H's women. I, I I only say this for the betterment of WWE. I hope Vince stays in trouble where he won't be back touching any of the storylines. Yeah, he doesn't know anything. I mean, he used to. The Attitude Era was all Vince. Yeah, but, okay. but he's very... You know, but he's out of touch. Yeah. He's out of touch. His heyday was... Was, uh, you know, Austin Rock. Like, get rid of the boomer humor and, and the Gen X and millennials. You need to go for Gen Z and Gen Alpha. Now, I'm predicting. Now, I want Asuka to win. Yes. But I also think Asuka will win. Just like you. Yeah. And the reason is, all right, is because Asuka really hasn't had a chance. She's been champion before, but there were short-term championships. Right. Charlotte's been there. She's, what, she'll win 15. She's going to get to her dad. She's going to become a 17-time, maybe an 18-time world yeah. champion. But I don't think it's going to be SummerSlam. I think Oscar's, and I think Bianca's out of it for now. Yeah. Uh, in fact, tonight on, on SmackDown, the Street Profits, or with Bobby Lashley, they're supposed to be a heel half action. Yeah. I think future is going to be Bianca Belair is going to be a part of that faction because she's going out with Montez, Montez Ford. They're actually married. Yeah. Not going out, they're married. So I think she's gonna be part of that. So I, I it's gonna be it's gonna be a really good match. It's gonna be a five star women's match. Maybe that'll be what pushes her to become like a heel because you know because she gets screwed out of it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so we both pick Oscar. Yes. All right. Uh, I predict it's gonna be a really good match. Oh, definitely. You predict a really good match. Well, I say I like wrestlers on the others. All three of them are really good wrestlers. They've been they've been doing this for a while. Uh, they do again. They're good that they do. They're Whatever we see, it's going to be good. Yeah, and I think it's going to be it's going to be close. It's going to be a three and a half, four star match is what I'm thinking. But we both pick Oscar. We want to win, and we both think Oscar will win. And there might be a possibility that this will be something that pushes. Oh, what well, you think? You think Charlotte's going to win? Yeah. Well, I think Oscar. Now you told me about Vince. Okay. If, so if, we, if we both with here. It would have been Charlotte. We both pick Oscar yes. for both of our choices. Yeah. Now I got Ricochet, all right, versus Logan Paul. Okay, now I, everybody, Logan Paul is a big social media guy. He, is, he did what he did with the whole what uh, suicide forest, right? Yeah, it was. It was uh, it, uh, Go ahead, you can explain it. Go ahead. Honestly, anyone who knows about him knows that years ago, I think it was like 2016 ish that he uh he was a big YouTuber, influencer, TikTok or whatever, and he went to the Japanese you no know, the suicide forest where people where people go to just commit suicide. And this is a trigger warning. I skipped for the front video, but and then he took video of him and his friends, uh, basically with a d dead body hanging in the background and making fun of them, making a big joke out of it, which did put a big hit to his career. A lot. It's almost like the Wizard of Oz. Remember the thing in Wizard of Oz that part? It actually shows a man hanging oh. from a noose when they're like we're skipping through Yellow Brick Road, or whatever. Yeah. All right, but I mean that that wasn't supposed to be in there. But Logan Paul meant to do what he was wanting. He, he, he meant to He knew to do. the body was there. Exactly. He, he, he tended to put the shot. So he's a scumbag. Honestly, though, 
it is 2023. It has been many seven years. Yeah, it's been seven years. And honestly, he was a how old was he now? Uh, I got. He's probably in his twenties, maybe early thirties. I got. I, He's married, I believe. I think so. Hold on, let me look through one real quick. Logan Paul H. He is twenty eight years old. Twenty eight. So he was twenty one, a young adult on social media, big thing. Before he was like megastar. Yeah, but no, he was huge on YouTube and stuff. Yeah, twenty one. Yeah, and he's it's always usually young kids with these prank, uh, goofy things he did. Honestly, after seven years, he did do the apology. People didn't really think, uh, think he meant it. But again, it's been seven years. Or maybe take you a few years off and I'm wrong about the actual timeline. But again, it's been a while. Yeah. Honestly, he has done a lot more things other than, you know, his channel. Again, he's actually put an effort to learn how to be a wrestler. Oh, he's actually one of the, the better wrestlers on the roster. Yeah, exactly. He's, and he's not even a full-time. He's actually putting in effort. Yes. And I he, he did the boxing thing, and that's... His brother's does a big boxer. Well, yeah. But, and I honestly think, if, again, like, I I have issues thinking about people can change, but I think he's actually been changing for a good path. He's maturing. He realized that he needs something else other than, you know, his usual... Uh, bits he does on youtube or yeah. his videos and stuff and he wants something bigger at first career well he actually there's there's actually a, a spoiler or prediction i'm not sure what it is but this match is gonna go first really? he's gonna lead off the show because his brother later on at night has a boxing match and he wanted to go to it so they wanted to agree that that logan paul and ricochet got on the, open the match open the card yeah open the show i should say and then he got to go to see his brother we'll see if that happens or not but honestly, if that's it, like again, like something again, like they're 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 young, they're young. Whatever yeah, they're both young. Both are very young, and okay. I wouldn't mind his brother coming in either. Again, like time, uh, years have passed. Time has changed. He's obviously you know done other things. Yeah, and honestly, I listen, knowing how much effort he's put in, and between him and Ricochet, no offense to Ricochet, no problem. But I want Logan Paul to win. Oh, I'm sure Ricochet is not taking any offense because I think that's what's going to happen. Yeah. No, Ricochet is actually going to be there. I think Ricochet is there to help mentor him. You know, to help make him a better yeah. high flyer type wrestler. Only I wouldn't want to because then it'll also set himself as a WWE wrestler and, you know, push him further into actually getting, you know, more spots and more storylines into the show. And he actually, he's actually a pretty good wrestler. Yeah. For for a little bit of time that he's been in it. And also the fact that he is with the new generation. He's, he had also pushed, again, like, different stuff to be added to the shows, a different storylines that could be more Gen Z, Gen Alpha centric. Now, who do you think's going to win? I think it's Logan Paul. As you said, I, Ricochet's, this is the whole thing, but boost him forward. And who do you want to win? I see Logan Paul, again, for like, I, again, while I hate what he did before, it's been so many years. People change. He's put in the actual effort. I do think that him being pushed forward with more things will help the WWE. Oh, yeah. And he's, like you said, he's only 28. Yeah. So he's young. Yeah. He's, and he can he go is, with the best of them. Yes. So I predict also Logan Paul's going to win. Yeah. And I still, even though he's going up against the highlight of the night, which, Rick, which is Ricochet, yeah. who can do all kinds of stuff. Yes. I think uh, this is also going to be a really good match. Yes. Logan Paul, I, I predict Logan Paul's going to win. And uh, I also want Logan Paul to win. Yeah. I do. And because uh, I want him to get bigger. Yeah, again, like we're talking about Logan Paul now, not Logan Paul. He's, he's a natural heel. Yeah. Because of that. Yeah. Because of what he did seven years ago. Yeah. You know, he is a natural heel. He doesn't have to do... Vince or Triple H don't have to do anything to make him a heel. When he starts talking, he is a heel. And he knows how to play out. Again, like, he's a big social media guy. And he's... Again, he is one of the big influencers. YouTube, Instagram, all, TikTok, all that stuff. He knows how to work the audience. He's like The Miz, but The Miz has been doing this his whole life. Yeah, he's... he's and uh, Logan Paul has been actual like uh, little movies and stuff of the sh and little shows. He, uh, I think he was on like a Disney show too. Logan Paul was and, on a Disney show. This was a this is a while back, even before like 
uh, 2011, 2014. Oh, so it was before. Yes, before that. Okay, so it was before he was a, a big old yeah. oh, social yeah. media icon. Busy, was soft, um, before he was the Maverick. Yeah. That's what they call so, it. So Logan Paul now, I do, I'm actually excited to see where he goes as a wrestler. Well, so it will be tomorrow night. Hopefully it'll be the opening match and we'll see where he goes because. Um, I think it's cute that he's like, hey, listen, my little brother's going to have a match. I kind of want to be there. Well, I think it's even better that Triple H is going to let him. Right? Yeah, let him go. Uh, now we have the, th the third match on our page, all right? I'm not sure if it's the card. It'll probably be one of the uh, later ones. But I got Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes. Now, this is the third match of a series of matches between them that started at, uh, I think it was Backlash after WrestleMania. I think so, too. I think yeah. the it was Backlash, United Champions, and now this one. Yeah. All right. Cody Rhodes won Backlash. Yes. All right. Then we have uh, Lesnar won Night of Champions. I mean, he put him in a submission hold, and he knocked him out. He went unconscious. He he didn't even... That's how he won. I mean, that's one... Cody thing. Rhodes didn't tap out. Okay, Cody Rhodes just passed out. Yeah. And that's where, actually, that's where I actually got Austin to start him. I don't know if you knew this or not. He was in a sharpshooter with uh, Owen against Owen Hart. Okay? Yeah. And he was bleeding profusely in his face, right, yeah. from the forehead. <laughs> And he passed out from the pain. And that's what made him popular. That's what made Stone Cold popular. That, that that's, start, that's the start of it. Yeah. Exactly. You know, he didn't tap out. He's a, he's a, an SOB, a tough guy. And and I think... Uh, also, Stone Cold has put, had, on social media, has defended that he is, he is not racist. He is not bigot. Uh, anyone who is, he does not agree with. Well, that's a political thing. We don't want to go there. But I'm this is a, of yeah. That's that's for mamas episodes, not I'm for not, papas. I'm still at it. He's, the reason why he's one of my favorite wrestlers. Papas is sports, my, sports entertainment. My top number one wrestler is Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, mine too. But it's not because of that. It's because of the Attitude Era and what he did. He oh, kicked. Yeah, he this, kicked this, ass. Is good, but further. Yeah. So we got Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes. First, who do you think will win? She's thinking, everybody. There, there's, there's nothing wrong with the taping. He, she's thinking. I think it's going to be Brock Lesnar. So that's what you think's going to win. I think it's going to win. Why? I honestly, honestly, with the storyline that's right now, I can't see them having even with Triple H, you know, running it. I can't see Cody Rhodes winning. I think they're going to have Brock Lesnar win. And who do you want to win? I'm sorry, Cody Rhodes. I want Brock Lesnar to win. <laughs> if it was Brock Lesnar from before where he, Paul Heyman was doing all the talking for him. Brock Lesnar's a heel again. He's not the good old cowboy anymore. The good old farmer cowboy from Minnesota. Like he was back when we went to see Rumble. Yeah. He's not that guy no more. But he's not having Brock, had Paul Heyman. He doesn't have Paul Heyman yeah. no more. No. Nope. But still, again, like, the Paul Heyman before where he, we never heard Brock Lesnar talk, I would not have wanted him to win. Yeah, the old, but, but, like, like... Brock Lesnar is going to, like, even though he's a, he's a heel now, again, he's, he's his own character. He, he can talk for himself. Yeah. So you think Brock Lesnar's going to win, and you want him to win. Yeah. I think Cody Rhodes is going to win. You think it's going to... Because I think for him, Cody Rhodes came from AEW. He was in WWE for a while. Yeah. Then he, you know, he became Stardust and all this other, all these other people, you know, yeah. these other characters. And he left. And he became part of AEW, which he was actually one of the founders of AEW. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. And he he put himself in a corner, saying he couldn't. He he in the contract he didn't want to uh, win a championship. Yeah. Okay. So he, he couldn't win a championship in AEW. All right. So the reason he left, all right, is because he wanted to become a champion. Yeah. So he went back to WWE. Who's and I think too? Uh, he, his dad was never a champion. Well, no, but he, again, he's one of the people you know. Dusty Rhodes was an O'Connor yeah. champion and, and so forth. I think a tag team champion down the road or, you know, past. But yeah, like, you know about the American Dream, Cody Rhodes. American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Oh, yeah. American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Yeah. But Sorry. the American Nightmare, yeah. right, is, is uh, he got that and he, he's called himself that in AEW. Yeah. And uh, he's back. And he's got he's got a little rough patch, you know. He lost to Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Everybody thought he was going to win, you know. But he he needs to beat Brock Lesnar to move his story along. So so, win. so from WWE perspective, all right. Okay. I I think he's going to win, and I want him to win. Brock Lesnar has accomplished everything. 
There is nothing Brock Lesnar has not accomplished in WWE. I mean, you, you're right about that. Okay, he is the, he's not known as the Beast for nothing. He could lose this match and still be the Beast and still be like the not mega attraction. Take care at WrestleMania. That was an accident. That wasn't supposed but to happen. We, we all knew it was an accident when you watched. Yes. Yeah. Undertaker was concussed from like the first five minutes on. Yeah. You don't, like, yeah, like me and my dad, we watched that like when I was going on. And we, you can easily tell that it was like, Oh no! And and Paul Heyman was you know he's, surprised. He's, Brock Lesnar was surprised. See, this was meant to happen. Uh, it would have been a whole big thing. But when Paul Paul Heyman was like, "Yay, we won!" Okay, let's go. Yeah, but that being said, he still beat the Undertaker. He did. He still broke the streak against the Undertaker at WrestleMania. Yeah. Okay, and he's still the beast. Yeah. He's, he's still the megastar, and that's not gonna change. Well, he's not really a megastar, but he's the he's he's the main attraction well, basically. He's done, he's done everything. Yeah, and and it's not, not going to change if he loses to Cody Rhodes. Yeah. If Cody Rhodes loses to Brock Lesnar, that puts a big old bump, basically in his his comeback. So, so you think it's going to happen just to push him forward, like, just like Cody Rhodes needs to win, okay, for his storyline, to 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 move on. Brock Lesnar doesn't need anything. Those are why I think Brock Lesnar might because they've done that before yeah. where they, they need the push and they keep the pushing the bump higher. But I think, I hope this is the last match between the three of them. Or between two of them, I should say. I hope it is the third match. And I hope, you know, that they move on with Cody Rhodes. Right. And this is done. And they put Brock Lesnar somewhere else and Cody Rhodes moves on. It would be interesting with Roman Reigns being a big heel too if Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns, you know, because of the destruction of the... Uh, Bloodline. But again, I don't think Brock Lesnar is going to go after Roman Reigns right now. No, no, they're going to go together. Oh, okay. But I don't think that's going to happen either. I think it'd be interesting, though. But I think Brock Lesnar is going to take some time off after this match. Really? And he's not going. He's not going to wrestle probably for the rest of the year. Maybe Survivor Series. But okay. I don't. I don't think he's going to come back to the Royal Rumble okay. in January. That's my prediction. Honestly, that's not. He, it's not a spoiler. Yeah, he, he's done it before. He can do it. He'll come back, and everyone back. Like, yeah. But I got Cody Rhodes winning. You know, WWE way, and I got Cody Rhodes. I want to win Cody okay. Rhodes. So we have a different opinion. Yeah, exactly. You go with Brock, I got Cody. Okay. Now we have a the more difficult one. The 25-man battle royal. Oh. Right now, there's going to be 25 men, but there's actually only going like, to be like eight main main men that you think will win. All right? Okay. And so I, I put them down. I got LA Knight. I got Sheamus, AJ Styles, Grayson Waller, Riddle, and The Miss. There's what six, seven. Yeah. No, uh, six of them right there. Unless they try to like make a new new big person, it's gonna be one of them. So okay. so, and I'm not sure. I, I think uh, Shinsuke Shinsuke Nakamura is in it. Oh. I Dolph Ziggler so. probably be in it. You know, yeah. uh, Bobby Roode might be in it. You know, yeah. he's coming back. Um, there might there's there's uh actually uh. Chatter of Randy Orton coming back tomorrow night, you know? I don't think Riddle is going to be one of the people that are in, in the top things to win. Say, so between those six that I mentioned there, yeah. because they're going to be the big ones, and Shinsuke. Yeah. Okay. Who who do you think is going to win, and who do you think will win? If it, Who do you want to win, and who do you think will win? If it is a thing that Randy Orton is coming back, I think it might be him, because it, it brings people back like that, you know. But I don't think he's going to be part of that. I mean, I'm not saying he won't. But yeah, if he is, then it's a it's a possibility. But as far as those those six men I list I listed with Shinsuke, mm -hmm. one Shinsuke, Shinsuke. Oh yeah, definitely. Again, like the, he's a unique, fun, like you know, interesting character. He's but he's turning into a heel. But again, again, that's you start a new thing of where he gains more. Uh, yeah, the heels need to gain power to be a, a good enough heel. Oh, and Santo Escobar is in it too, which you you, you don't really know. Him, he's from the LWO, Latino World Order. Yeah. So he's not going to win. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, he's got a U.S. championship next week in Sauce and Theory on SmackDown. Yeah. So he's not going to win the Battle Royal. Yeah. This is actually to elevate one person. And I'm going to tell you who. This is who's going to win, and this is who, I'm pre who I want to win. Okay. L.A. Knight. Yeah. <laughs> L.A. Knight is, I want to win, and I believe L.A. Knight will win. He is a mixture of Stone Cold and The Rock. Okay. He is part of the now era and the attitude era. Okay. He is one of the most popular superstars right now. He's actually number one in merchandise sales. He's beating the bloodline and Roman Reigns. And so, I mean, he's good at promos. He's awesome at promos. He's a good. He's a great wrestler. 
And he's, he's more like an Austin type guy, but he can jump from the mat to the top rope without even touching anything else. Okay, yeah. I, I, I forgot who he was from. I look him up. Oh, yeah. I'm... You see what I'm saying? It's L.A. He... Knight. Yeah. I think you might. I think you're definitely on to something. Mm -hmm. well, I want Shinsuke to win. Uh, again. You like Shinsuke? Shinsuke could win, too. I'm not saying he won't. But again, like, again, with Triple H and, again, like, Good people want the storylines. They need to push forward. Yes. They need to like stop the stale, the same things happening. And again, as you said, like he, the new, the newer viewers, and everyone, they love them. Yeah. You know, again, you know, wrestlers who know how to work the work the crowd, work the fans, and the personality, plus being able to wrestle well. Oh yeah, he can do it all. He's got the charm and the promos. Able to have like be able to consistently wrestle well. Again, that's something that's going to, like, stay. And LA Knight is hot now, all right? Yeah. Like I said, his merchandise is number one, all right? I can see why. So yeah. LA Knight, my prediction, is going to win, and I want to win. And, uh, is she, are you still hanging with Shinsuke? I want Shinsuke to win, but I think you're on to with LA, LA Knight. Knight. Yeah. I like, mean, my, there's no there's no time better than now Yeah. to, like, Be push him. Again, the, with all these things, is that nowadays... People will consistently go with who's a good person, even even outside of you know what John Cena lost a bunch of popularity and hasn't been invited back to WWE because of his big hit to uh, his view outside WWE. Well, he actually was in WWE. He actually won against Austin Theory, yeah. But that was only to give Austin Theory a push. Yeah, he lost to Austin Theory. I believe it was WrestleMania. Yeah, but only about like like Riddle his. Uh, they stopped using him a lot because of the uh, allegations, but with the girlfriend and everything, because people he gets in a way too much trouble. People nowadays will boycott or not support people because of what they do outside of their job. Well, I mean, it's, they need to do the thing, like, and but now we are all we all have access to bad things. Social do. media, yeah, exactly. And again, like that's why Google. Again, like. Uh, John Cena is a is more like a meme rather than you know a big superstar because of uh, he is vocally voices his displeasure of children and how much he thought it was annoying to do the make a wish. Even though he's a real big make a wish person, he's right. I, I just don't understand. I don't understand. Why would you admit that? Like, exactly. But besides that, all right, John Cena is Mr. Netflix right now. And also, I've seen L.A. Knight on his social media. He is again. Like I said he's a big. He's popular. People like him. He's uh, he can the, talk. You again, like, and there's no scandals, anything with him. The only downfall with LA Knight, right, is that he started so late. He's in his early forties right now. Yeah. So they really can't give him now. He can go a couple years. He's like Austin. Yeah. When Austin came to WWE, he had a good career in WCW as the Hollywood non as a Hollywood blonde, basically <laughs> with Brian Pillman. Oh yeah, he used right? to have hair. And he used to have hair. Was blonde. Yeah. And he didn't have a very good storyline or a very good gimmick, though, in WCW. So Eric Bischoff couldn't sell his merchandise. So he fired him over the phone. Okay? Yeah. So he hated Eric Bischoff. So if you hate Eric Bischoff, would you go? You go to the, the person who hates him just like you do, Vince the Vince McMahon. And he, be, he became in WWE. He was the ringmaster, which was a horrible promo. It was a horrible, all right? Horrible character with Teddy Biasi. He was a million dollar champion over and over again, but then he made himself Stone Cold. He came up with that gimmick. Just like LA Knight has come up with his gimmick, Stone yeah. Cold came up with it. Well, LA Knight right now is only 40. Is that, that's it. He is he's, old, he's 40. Only, you can't say only 40. I, I can say only 40 because Undertaker was still wrestling and he's like in the 60s. But he wasn't that good. But again, they continue on. But, but here's the thing but Undertaker already had his, you know, he had his followers, he had his glory by then. True. Where, where uh, LA Knight hasn't had anything. But I think so. He's going to push in a new direction for wrestlers, though. I'm a big LA Knight fan. I hope he, I hope it works out. I hope he wins tomorrow night. My prediction is he's going to. Honestly, if anyone other than, like, the main people other than Riddle or, like, LA Knight or Shinsuke wins, it's going to be a huge shock. If LA Knight does not win. It's going to be a plot twist. Well, if LA Knight doesn't win, it's going to be a big uh, letdown for the fans. Right. But if anyone other than like the main top people actually win, it's going to be a huge plot twist, and we're all going to be very confused. Yeah. Well, I don't see them as winning. I don't see Riddle winning because what you said, uh, Sheamus. I see him more as 
uh, pushing, you know, giving people pushes. Yeah. You know, I don't see him getting the pushes anymore. Yeah. Uh, AJ Styles, same thing. I don't see him. I mean, he's he's past his prime. He, he's going to help he, the younger he, ones. Two years and then it kind of fell off. Well, he, an impact. He was a big one, impact. Yeah. That's where he made his name, was Impact Wrestling. Yeah. Grayson Waller's an up and comer, but he's not as big as LA Knight. Grayson Waller's going to, he's going to have a good match. He's going to be one of the final people in the match. Yeah. But he's going he's going to lose to LA Knight, and Grayson Waller is actually going to go on and become bigger and better things. Because yeah. he? he's awesome as well. But we both want LA Knight. But yeah. you still want Shinsuke? I want... Or did I talk to you on LA Knight? I want Shinsuke, but you're right. LA Knight has the most probability of actually... Yeah. And if he doesn't win tomorrow night at the Battle Royal, I don't know when he's going to win. I don't know when they're going to push him. Push him now or don't push him all. Yeah, if, if the people you mentioned... if uh, especially if LA Knight doesn't get pushed through, it's gonna be very confusing about where the storyline is even going. Like, is that, yeah, it's like, where's he gonna go? Like, you gotta give some direction here. So, the next match I got, okay. I got Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler, two former best friends, two rivals, best friends. They train together, yeah. they're best friends. You know, you know the story. Yeah. It's gonna be an MMA match, it's not gonna be a wrestling match, MMA rules. Okay, yeah. So, who do you got? Who do you? Want to win, or who do you think will win, and who do you want to win? Ronda Rousey for both. Okay. And I say that because now let me give you a little, little hint. Okay. Ronda Rousey is going to be going away from wrestling for a while after this match. Then it's going to Shayna Baszler. Okay. Again, I I see I just see the storylines, but honestly, if she wasn't leaving, I think she would have won. Well, because she's the name. Well, also because the whole thing about it is that uh, it's about who is better, who took who. Who started what and everything, and they're gonna have Ronda Rousey be the the name. I think it's gonna be Baszler for both. I want Baszler, and I think Baszler because the only way again with like LA Knight, you can't push her with a loss. Yeah. And if Ronda Rousey's leaving, there's no reason to push her. She's she's like Brock Lesnar. She already has the name. Yeah. She doesn't need the title. She doesn't need the win. She, what she needs to do is she needs to help her friend, yeah, slash rival. Right, and give her a push and give her a career. Because of El- Shayna Baszler loves the wrestling business. Yeah. She's not leaving. Ronda is. I, I like Ronda Rousey very much as a wrestler and as a fighter. So that's why I want her to do it. But you're right. If she's with her taking a break, there's no reason to have her be pushed forward. And then Shayna Baszler, once Ronda Rousey leaves, then that storyline's over. She can be pushed to do new things. I would love to see Baszler versus Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania for a championship match. That would- championship belt. Oh, that would be. I know you're a Ripley. I know you're a Ripley fan. I, I like Ripley. But, but that does. But I know how to like. It's kind of like when uh, Charlotte and Ronda Rousey had a rivalry. The two different. Or styles. Shonda and or yeah, Shonda or Charlotte. Yeah. Put those two together, Shonda yeah. or Charlotte against Becky Lynch. Yeah, and then two different like uh, Rhea Ripley has a uh, different like you know. Wasn't she? Uh, she's with Judgment Day now. She's more dark and goth. Yeah, but yeah, like they're t- yeah, like the whole like different. She's with Dominic Mysterio. The the different aesthetics to like the different because uh, again, uh, Shonda started as a. Shonda, you did the same thing. <laughs> We're not gonna edit it out. We're gonna keep it. What? Sorry, what's her first name? Charlotte. No. Oh, Rhonda. Rhea. Who are you talking about? The one going is Rousey. Shayna. Shayna. Baszler. I'm terrible at names, people. Give me a break. And it's not going to get cut out. No, it's not. Uh, Shayna versus Rhea. Again, it's going to uh, get MMA versus WWE. Re- MMA versus wrestling. Just how when Ronda Rousey came in versus Charlotte, it was like, again, make, made Ronda's name in WWE by going against a, a WWE huge wrestler. Yeah. And Rhea is a huge WWE wrestler right now. She has, again, like, uh, they really play to the new generations of like the Judgment Day is definitely doing that. Judgment Day is being awesome. They're, they're really good right now. Right. And so she, she's really popular. She's well known. People like her. And with uh, Shayna, she needs that to push herself more into wrestling. Then, well, right, exactly. She, Shayna needs the push. Because right now she still has that vibe of a fighter in a wrestling. Uh, field yes now and you want you want you predict baszler and one baszler i want ronda but knowing that she's leaving i i want baszler to win i want i want and i think baszler's gonna win yeah okay that's i want her to win because knowing ronda's leaving even though i really like ronda rousey i want uh, shannon to have that push now staying with the women's division okay eo sky has the money to make briefcase 
Okay, Asuka is putting a belt on the line tomorrow night versus Bel Air and Flair. The you know the whole thing with the briefcase, right? Is that you can cash it anytime. Yeah. Okay. So, do you think? All right. Do you think that after the after the, the triple threat women's championship match, do you think Io Sky is going to cash in the briefcase, or do you think she's going to wait? Oh, like a Seth Rollins. Well, except for all, uh, Seth Rollins did those years ago. Yes. Yeah, that would. And like uh, Damian Priest can tomorrow if night. If do that, that's going to be a huge thing for the women's division. So you think she's going to keep it? I. She's going to wait till later. No, I think she. I depending on how much uh, uh, Bianca and Charlotte and how how far the match goes, because if you can, you can, we'll be able to tell whether she's going to use it or not. Is it's how far the match goes? If uh. Now, there will be a tease, though. Yeah. I think if it goes really hard and uh, I think maybe Asuka is, like, very tired holding up the champion and then she uses the money in the bank. Or they're all three laid out in the ring. I, and the match isn't even over yet. Right. She can still do that. Right. But I don't I don't think this will happen, but I think it'd be interesting if, you know, because there's, a, like, a twist between, like, the parallel between Seth Rollins putting, it, putting the money in the bank and everything. If she tr tries doing a Seth Rollins and putting it in, but whoever wins the Money in the Bank beats her still, even after going to take on the other two. Yeah. And well, I think it's going to be, uh, especially if it's Oscar or Charlotte, which again are top contenders for whoever it's going to be, I think that'd be a great, like, you know, a, oh, Air. a parallel to what Seth Rollins, what, 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 the men's division of using the briefcase at the opportune time, but then instead of Winning, they beat her. I don't think it's going to happen that way, but I think that'd be an interesting... It's, it's going to be a tease. Yeah. They're going to tease it, all right? They're going to pretend or act like it's going to be cashed in, but then something's going to happen, it's going to distract them, and it's not going to cash in. Yeah. But I think it will be a teaser. Yeah. Uh, but the back... Oh, go ahead. I do think uh, it would be interesting if they do it, but as you said, I don't think they're going to do it like that. Maybe she'll come out with a briefcase and taunt her and everything. Or whoever wins. And then something's going to happen. Shotzi is going to distract Bailey, and stuff's going to happen where she's actually not going to cash it in. Yeah. Uh, the next match we got is going to be another good one. Drew, Drew McIntyre versus Gunther. Ooh. For the IC Championship belt. Gunther's already beaten Sheamus and Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania in a triple threat match. Yeah. But he hasn't beaten Drew one-on-one. -on -one. So who do you want to win, and who do you think will win? I want and think... Drew McIntyre, but they never let him have. It. They never let him have it. They never let him keep it, and it's just like I it hesitant to even want him to win, just knowing that they're not going to, you know, continue usually continue it. Yeah, they, I think they ruined uh, Drew when they took him out of being a heel, being a badass. You know, now he can be beat by anybody. All right. Yeah. Which is like Braun Strowman, you know, when he's wrestling. Yeah. Big old monster, monster among men, but they can beat him. Makes no sense to me. No. But so you you want and think, do you you want Drew to win? But who do you think will win? I honestly think it's gonna be Gunther. Yeah. With the fact that the already um, everything that Drew's already gone through, and Gunther being honestly a newer character than Drew, I think this is what he'll still need to to uh, further his storyline or put him in a different. Into a more interesting path. Yeah, well, you know, Gunther needs to push. Yes. You know, I think Drew needs the belt too, but I don't think he needs IC belt. I think he needs more of the championship belt. Yeah. I think he needs to go up against uh, Seth Rollins eventually. Right. He needs right. to go against like in, and like the, the big game. Yeah, exactly. Gunther is actually ready for the big game too, but he's actually still going after records as far as like how many days he's had an IC belt. Right. He's going. He's trying to beat the honky tonk. He needs man. to. Like, Get him to start before he just goes, goes right. It, well, Gunther's actually, I, th I think Gunther now is actually ready for a championship belt. But that's, they're not going to do it. They're not. No, they're going to keep the belt on Gunther, all right? And they're, they're going to have him beat the Honky Tonk Man's record. Yeah. As for how many days in a row he's got the IC belt. And he's going to have the IC belt as a record a long time. It's like Roman Reigns right. for the championship. It's not going to be as long, Yeah, it's but like, it's going to be pretty long. It's just so many years. It's over three years now. It's going to be so hard to beat it the next time. Yeah. I don't think he's going to only be... Well, I mean, he's still... he Actually, Roman Reigns is still trying to beat, uh, like, Hulk Hogan. He's trying to beat uh, Bruno San Martino, who's had... He had it for, like, four or five... Actually, Hogan had it for, like, five years straight. Are you serious? Something like that. Yeah, it was a long time. 
So oh, yeah, they make these uh, records back, so hard to beat. That's back when they portrayed wrestling being real. Yeah, you know now they know, now they know. Now I tell you, it's it's uh, it's entertainment. You know, because they have those other shows, like the Diva show back in the day. Remember all that? You know, so. I please don't assault our heel wrestlers outside the arena. But I want, and I think Gunther was going to win. It's going to be a good match. I, but Gunther's going to win. The reason why I want Drew is for the fact that he, I want him to get out, get the rut of, of the, being... stale, the stale storylines. Now, next match. Now, you want Drew. I want Gunther. Uh, you think Gunther. Yeah. I think Gunther. Yeah. Now, next next match is going to be Rollins, Seth freaking Rollins, <laughs> versus Finn Balor for the heavyweight championship match. Which belt. This Seth freaking Rollins is a champion. Balor is the, uh, the opponent. Okay? Yeah. It's, gonna be, you know, it's not going to be Demon Balor. It's going to be regular Finn Balor. Okay? There is, there is rumors that it might be Demon. Who knows? That might be last minute plans. But as of right now, it is it's regular old Finn versus regular old freaking Rollins. Who do you want and who do you think will win? She's thinking, folks. I know. I, I, I. This is live. She's thinking. Because, like, I have favorites in wrestling. Seth yeah. freaking Rollins is one of them. Yeah. I liked him immediately when he was the architect with the, uh. Oh, the shield. shield. Mm -hmm. I know, man. We went to Rumble and you, like, blew, went out of your seat when the shield music hit. Right. And was Seth versus uh, Roman. All right. You went crazy. I, yeah, there's certain wrestlers that I always want to win. But I again like with the Finn Balor of regular versus Demon. I think it might be interesting if they the Demon came out. Yeah, during like the middle of the match, he looks like he's beat down and he and he's he's in a rough shape, and then Demon Finn uh, appears. The like, so he's gonna go back in the locker room and get all painted up. He's gonna gonna go to hold a match for half hour so he can get painted up. I don't know. The lights gonna go out. He's gonna come back like what is it, Bray Wyatt? Right, like they don't they done it. <laughs> Is this Undertaker? <laughs> you gonna rise up from the ring? They've all done it. They, it can happen. I think it'd be an interesting like uh, spin. Yeah, spin yeah. for the match. Mm -hmm. So who do you want? To, you want Seth Rollins to win, right? I want, but I think Finn Balor is because yeah, Seth Rollins is one of the people who's done a lot. Again, he's already established, and I don't. I don't think he's gonna keep the. The belt. So you think Finn Balor's gonna yeah, win? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna keep the belt. I I I think Seth Rollins is gonna win. You think so? And I want Seth Rollins to win. I want Seth Rollins to have a long reign. Okay. I just don't yeah, like it's never happened with him, so I'm very touchy to even know. So so far, I don't think the, any belt's gonna change. You don't think so? I don't. Okay. And during my predictions, I don't think any belt's gonna change. But I want I want Seth freaking Rollins to win. Right. I don't think Finn Balor. Has it? He's he's a good talent. He doesn't have the charisma as a Seth freaking Rollins does. Plus, a Damian Priest, who's supposed to be Finn Balor's buddy, yeah, has the uh, Money in the Bank briefcase. I know it could be a good twist to say Finn Balor beats Seth Rollins, and then Damian Priest cashes in the briefcase, then he becomes champion. Right. And, but I don't want the Judgment Day to break up. It's, I want a Judgment Day to stay together. You know, with certain wrestlers, they've always again like the stale stuff that. They never keep the bells. That they're, they're they only short short periods. That's why I'm hesitant for Seth Rollins. But you have a point. But I I'm gonna go with that with uh, Finn Balor. I'm just gonna. So go you're going Finn. I'm going Seth. Yeah. So we'll see how that happens. Right. Now the last match is gonna be the biggest match of the night. Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso in a tribal combat match for both being the head of the table, the tribal chief. Yeah. And the champion. So whoever wins that match, so if Jay beats Roman, he's the head of the table, the tribal chief. He wears that that red spike lay. Yeah. And he has a championship belt. Well, he has three of them. Or Roman Reigns, who remains, you know, the tribal chief, and remains a champion. Who do you want to win, and who do you think will win? I want Jay, just for the fact that I can imagine. Uh... Him winning the belt, and instead of him taking the lay as tribal chief, he just breaks him, which is a, a symbol for the breaking the bloodline completely. That's a good twist. I didn't remember that. Yeah, like again, he, instead of him hitting the lay, and he's just going to break it. And then Roman's just be like, and Paul Hammond's like, I'm out of a job. Who do, you, who do you think will win? That's who you want to win, right? Yeah. Who do you think will win? Who do you think WWE wants to win? 
I really want to hope it's Jay, but again, as you said, I don't think I don't think they're going to take the bell away from Roman. No, you're right. I, I don't think so. I'm not even going to. I want Jay, but I know it's going to be Roman. I'm going Roman for both. I'm going Roman. I think they want Roman to win. They want to keep the bloodline. They want to keep his record going. I don't think Jay, even though they call him main event Jay Uso, I don't think he has that yet. No. He's not gonna. He's not gonna take the belt. Now, Jimmy and Jay. the Tribal Chief recently done things separately. Now there will be some confrontations. I think there'll be some surprises. Yeah. Okay. It's not gonna be just you know a regular. It's, it's a, a no disqualification match. You know, anything can happen. Anything with, like, the bl the bloodline is going to be unique and different. I think we're going to see some surprise people. Yeah. I think there, there might be an appearance by The Rock. Really? Okay. Oh, yeah. The, the Hollywood they're actors, are, they're, they're all striking. Yeah, they're related. So, well, plus the, the Hollywood striking. Yeah. And The Rock's not, he doesn't have a job right now. XFL's in the off season. He's like, I got time. He's like, yeah, I got time. Just like John Cena's got time. So there might be an appearance by him, too. Right, but they're but the right rock, now. but the rock would make more sense because of the bloodline. He's yeah. part of that bloodline. Again, yeah, yeah. You know, and if they want to set up a WrestleMania match between Roman Reigns and the Rock, Roman Reigns winning and the Rock showing up, being like, "I'm gonna show who the true leader of the bloodline is." Or, or like, I'm not even gonna predict how it ends. I don't know. But yeah, like thinking about the thing that could happen. But yeah, things could could happen. Rikishi, the dad of of Jimmy and Jey Uso and Solo Sokoa. That's his, that's her dad, Rikishi. Yeah, yeah. You know, he could show up and be like in Jay's corner. That I think would be more realistic than say The Rock coming in. I, I mean, maybe The Rock will come back, but he's not going to have an, an out. He's not going to have an outcome of the match. Maybe he'll just have like a little video sketch of him talking about it rather than him actually being there. Or he'll go like, his musical hit once the match is over. Yeah. And he'll come out and he'll go face to face with Roman. That's how the, the show off here. That could happen too. I could see that maybe happen. Right. You know, he ain't going to have an, a, a decision. He's not going to cause a decision in the outcome of the match. So, but I think Roman Reigns, I think the baby wants him to win. And I think he, if the rock does. I want him to win. I don't think he's going to go to the ring, but I think it'll be a stare off with him. Like just at the, at the starting, uh, stage area between him and Roman. So you don't think he's going to have a stare down in the middle of the ring? I don't think the show going off the air. I don't think he'll go to the ring, but he'll like show up at the, the, at stage. the stage. I and I'll just give him the people's eyebrow. Right. Like, the Brahma Bull. Roman's going to be all tired. He's going to look at him and he's going to look back and then like... What do you think is going to happen? How, how do you think the crowd's going to react if they hear, if you smell what the rock is cooking? It would be interesting though if he was wearing stuff like, you know, the tribal chief stuff. Yeah. Instead of act out loud saying it, he was wearing stuff that would insinuate that he's going Like to he'd be wearing that red spiky layer on his neck. Yeah, but... It's, it's, Again, like something... And it would stare down Roman Reigns. It's, like, a little bigger because he's a rock. And he's oh, of course. It's totally dramatic. Yeah. Again, like, it would be, like, instead of anything, one say anything. But then I... As, but Rock would have to say something, and then he'd be like, can you smell what the rock is cooking? And then... And it's over. It's over. No, so you think it's going like, to go off the air as soon as the, the music hits? I think, actually, it'll be, it'll be five minutes before music hits. You think... Before the show goes off the air. Do you end. think the rock's going to, like, actually talk to him? I don't think. I think it's going to be a stare down. For five minutes? Well, no, no. I mean, it's going to take The Rock four minutes to get to the ring. <laughs> the main amount of time is him just... Well, it depends how long it depends how long the stage is and the ramp. Oh, true. We don't know how, how big they If it's a WrestleMania-type stage, it's going to be long. Right. And they're going to want to savor The Rock going to the ring. If it's a long... Okay. If it's a short ramp, I think The Rock's just going to be at the stage. Turn them. If it's a long ramp... He has to actually walk there. They can't see each other from that distance. True, because they're both old and they can't see. Right. But yeah, but I, I I think Roman will win, and I want him to win. Either way, this is going to be really interesting. It's going to be a very interesting match, regardless of what the outcome is. Right. So that's our SummerSlam predictions. Okay. I think uh, our SummerSlam predictions are pretty uh, pretty good. I think our in depth analysis was pretty good there. Let's see what happens. Right. Right tomorrow night. But now we're going to go and talk about your favorite football team, the Jets. We're going to talk about your favorite football team, the Jets. So how, how do you think the Jets... I Aaron Rodgers on the team. You don't like Aaron Rodgers on the team. I'm going to say, unpopular opinion, I think the Jets freaked up doing so much to get on the team. Yeah, they got like all his old receivers and everything, yeah. I don't think it's going to be helpful to the team, especially those that were friends and 
you know, loyal to the teammates, you know, Pat had to be, so be pushed aside for his needs and demand to be on the team. I think Aaron Rodgers has a good season. And I think the Jets make the playoffs. You being a fan of the Jets don't have a very good positive outcome. I don't like them a team, but again, like I've always wanted uh, Eagles versus Jets uh, Super Bowl. That could happen this year. You never know. I will retract all my statements of of hating on Aaron Rodgers if he brings them to the playoffs or Super Bowl. So all he has to do is make it to the playoffs, and he'll retract everything you said bad about him. He got. Can he? Does he have to win a playoff game? Yeah, he'll actually win a playoff game. He just can't just get there. Okay, but if he makes it to the Super Bowl. I will you will stop hating on him. I will I will on a podcast say I was wrong. Uh Aaron Rodgers was a good decision. <laughs> I retract it. You don't gotta retract that one. But yeah, <laughs> that, that's mighty uh, mighty white of you to do that. White? Yes. So now I got the Patriots. All right. Mac Jones is gonna have a uh, he's gonna have a good season. All right, but he's gonna get benched. What do you think about that? I know you're not real familiar with Mac Jones or the Patriots. I don't think the Patriots are going to do really good this year anyway. So I. Do you think Bill Belichick, the coach, gets fired? I don't know much about coaches. I'm going to be too perfectly honest, but I don't feel like they're going to have a good season. They didn't have had a good season since Tom Brady. Yeah, but like again, I don't think they're going to do good this year. Okay. Either because of the coach or the person getting benched or whatever, they're not going to do good. And I don't either. I think they're going to finish probably fourth in that division. And the AFC East. Now the Chiefs, which is, is Mama's favorite team, okay, uh, they will lose. I predict they will lose at least one game to the Broncos. And the reason I say that is because they've won seventeen straight against the Broncos. Okay, they've won seventeen straight. It's really funny though if they can't win one game against the Broncos this season. Well, they play them twice because they're in the same division. Yeah. So if they lose to them once, that's a victory. I mean, that's that's that makes the Broncos season. The the I, I I want now the first game between the Chiefs and the Broncos. I want I want the Chiefs to lose. You want the you want That's the Broncos? Purely purely the fact that I think it'd be funny. Mom's yelling at me now. She's it's like, Mama, Mama's yelling at us because she's a Chiefs fan, but I don't care. I'm here for the interesting interesting stuff, Mom. I also think the Broncos will finish second in the AFC West behind the Chiefs. The Chiefs will win that division, but the Broncos will finish second, and I'll probably make a wild card game. I think you're close. I'm not sure. Again, I'm not sure where they'll be, but I want the Broncos to win at least one game. I, I'm, I'm gonna against the Chiefs. I'm gonna place my bet right here. I'm gonna place my bet with one dollar that the Broncos are gonna beat the Chiefs first game this year. It's a good thing you're not in the NFL because you get suspended right now. Really? Yeah, you can't bet. Well, I'm, I'm going to bet. I'm not, I don't play football. So, so that's that a quick football talk, all right? Um, the Chiefs are going to lose one game to the Broncos. The Jets are going to make the playoffs. Aaron Rodgers is going to have a good season. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make my prediction. I think it's going to be Jets and Eagles. There you go. Or, or, or even the, the, the Jets and Eagles are going to make the playoffs, or it's going to be close. So no no no. You can't you can't have one you can't have both. You gotta have one or the other. They're gonna either be in a Super Bowl league, play eight each other. Super Bowl. So, I was right when the beginning of the season when Eagles went to the Super Bowl last time. So you're you're saying right now, your prediction right now on Mom, right Big now. Mama's House podcast, Papa's episode number five. No, no editing. No editing, uncut, uncensored. Yes. Eagles versus Jets. And a Super Bowl. Super Bowl. The Jets are gonna beat the Chiefs. Yes. And the Eagles ain't going to lose they're in the playoffs. No, yeah, they're going to go through it. <laughs> Let's so you, so even point. before even before we do our picks, before the season starts, right. All right, our game picks each week, because yeah. we're going to do them on Papa's episodes. Yeah. All right. You're picking the Jets winning the AFC all right, championship. Yeah. Playing the Eagles. Yes. Winning the NFC championship in the Super Bowl. Yes. Sometime in February. Yeah. Somewhere in a stadium and somewhere in this country. Yeah. Because I don't know where we're at and what, right. you know, and what day. And I'm, I'm going to say it. So you heard it here first, folks. Lizard is picking Jets, Eagles, Super Bowl. And she cannot take it back because it's in stone. I'm going to say this one thing. If either one of them gets the Super Bowl, I'm at least half right. There is no ifs. I, I, I'm going to say I'm at least half right with either one. Whatever makes you feel better in the morning. But I, I, I'm going to say Jets versus Eagles. 
And I'm going to pick the Eagles because, you know, I haven't, I, haven't so I haven't even done any of that picking yet. So you've gone further than I have. Yeah. But we're going to do a little bit quick baseball. Okay? Okay. I don't have to really get into too much baseball talk because, you know, it's a long season and I'll do it more so in each episode later on down the road. This is more for SummerSlam. But I'm going to throw a little bit of baseball in there. No standings or nothing like that. The Braves are still the best team in baseball. Okay? They get the best record. They won their 70th game today, which is the, the first of any team. They've Nobody's won 70 games. They've won 70. Was it uh, how many games so far? Let's see, 50, 109. They've won 70 out of 109 games. That's good. Yeah, that's what 70 and 39. Yeah, right. So yeah, so it was too bad they're going to lose in the playoffs, and they're not going to even make the World Series. Mark it, mark it down right now. Um, you heard it here. The best team usually doesn't because they push all themselves during the season. The Mets, all right, are still a mess. The Mets are one of the worst teams in baseball. They spent all this money on these pitchers. Then they trade them at the trade deadline, let all their fans down, and they're not going to be good for a good while. Okay. The best the best time, the best chance they had was last year when they were winning the East by like 10 games, and then they freaking got struggled, and the Braves took over the East, and then the Mets lost the wild card games. I forget who it was too, but it was it was the first round. You didn't the Phillies do what? Oh, the Phillies beat the Braves last year, and then won the World Series. Yeah. Uh, but the Phillies are still in the wild card, even though they lost to the worst team in baseball tonight, the KC Royals. You know, and they lose. They play bad against bad teams, and they really do. Rob Thompson, coach, he manages bad against bad teams. There was a ball tonight, all right, that hit five feet on fair territory, and they they thought it was foul, and they wanted them to challenge, challenge the call. Everybody's like, why are you challenging it? You can see in a replay that it was fair. That's the type of crap that Rob Thompson does. Uh, I don't remember the manager of the Phillies. I don't remember how long this was. At least in the past two weeks, uh, you stopped me as I was going back to my uh, to the room, and you're like, "Okay, listen. If the pitcher was doing so well for these amount, oh yes, these these innings, would you switch him out?" I'm like, "No, you." Keep- that was Christopher Sanchez. He was throwing no hitter through five innings. I'm like, uh, like keep him going till you know start, starts actually slacking. He only threw seventy some pitches, and he took him out in the sixth. And the next guy came in and gave up a hit and gave up a couple runs, and they lost the game to the Pirates. That's the worst team in the National League. Well, the Royals are the worst team in majors. The Pirates are the worst team in the National League. You should not lose to those teams. I don't care. <laughs> and the last thing, the Cardinals are bad, and their fans are worse. Yeah, we're stuck living by them. Yeah, the, I mean, Cardinal fans are bad. Midwest, Midwest fans are like... Cubs, Cubs, not really Midwest. Uh, Cubs fans are good. Well, like, you, you see uh, the Cubs and Cardinal fans. I only met... The only time I ever argued with a Cubs fan was during high school, and I I just kept telling him that uh, the Bears were t- were terrible. They just made him so mad. I didn't have to say any kind of stats or anything. And that's the football team, the Bears. Yeah, you know, the Cubs. Uh, again, I did it for both of them for each season. I told him, like the Bears and Cubs were bad, and he got so mad. I didn't tell him any stats, nothing. I was just like, oh, they're t- they're terrible. Losing the Cubs are pretty bad. This year they're not doing too bad. They're actually on a hot streak. They lost today. But before today, they won like seven, eight in a row. So, but, you know, and they're, and they're still... Can improve. Exactly. And there's still 50-some games to go. But, yeah, the Cardinals are still bad. They gave away a lot of their pitching. Didn't get much back in the, in the trade line. Uh, the fans are bad, too. You know, they're just... I just don't know. I can't explain the fans. Uh, but the Philly fans, I will say this. Trey Turner, their, third, their $30 million a year shortstop. Who's having a really bad season? Yeah, he's struggling. He's having a low average. He's got the most errors he ever had, most errors he's ever had, most strikeouts he's ever had in a season. Yeah. And it's not even a season ain't even over yet. Yeah. Uh, but they gave him a standing ovation in his first at bat, and his second at bat, and his third at bat. You know the fans of Philly get really bad. They get they get disrespected all the Listen, time. Listen, you know if someone's a true fan of a sports team. If they're willing to get mad at their sports team, mm-hmm. but then also be the first to, you know, cheer them on during the rough times. I get really pissed off at the Phillies. I, if you, 
like I'm gonna put Cowboys fans in like, the fact that they all they're always like t- arguing for their team even when they're bad. They're not true fans. They're they're just like blind loyalty. If you're not if you're not getting mad at the coaches or the players for doing something stupid, you're not a fan. You're not a yeah, fan. a real fan is somebody who gets pissed at the team can still you can still support them. Right. All right, but you're allowed to get pissed at them. You're allowed to get mad, frustrated at them, you know. But I was really happy when the Philly fans cheered and gave them a standing ovation because you know booing your own players uh, during the game right. is not going to help. Right, it only, it's not going to help them. Yeah, it only makes it feel worse. They're going to do worse. They're going to feel like them versus the world. They're not going to feel like any support. Uh, but anyway, that was our talk tonight. Was, like I said, this was mostly mostly about SummerSlam coming up tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how well. Lizard's predictions and my predictions will come true. Again, it's on tomorrow night on Peacock, SummerSlam, 7, 8 Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific. If you get this video before it comes on, watch it, and let's see how close we are with our predictions. Or if you uh, listen to this or watch it after the beat, uh go back, see who won, and compare. Jimmy and then I, want you, then I want you all to comment, let us know how we did, and give us uh, your opinions. And then all tell right. us how much we suck. Yeah, how much we suck, or you can just praise us on how good we are and how much, how, how good of a prediction. Exactly, that's my name. Because, smart. Where do we get all of them right? Because, know? plus, I use my turn signals. Right? You know? You're so smart. I use my I use my windshield wiper when it rains, my headlights when it rains. But this is, uh, this is over. We're done now for this episode. I want to thank Lizard for being a special guest. I'm here. Go Jets. Go Phillies. No Chiefs. Go Eagles. Go Eagles. And use your turn signals. Uh, Thank you. Go Flyers. And go Mama. Bye-bye.